I'm Dr. Shriya Sharjur, consultant urologist, andrologist practicing in Bangalore. Today I am going to talk on kidney stone management. All of you know kidney stone is one of the most commonly diagnosed disease. So you should be aware of some basic things about kidney stone and its management. First I will tell you what are the things you should know before opting for any treatment in kidney stones. And next I am going to tell you what are the different modalities of treatment available for kidney stone. So what are the basic things you should be aware of? Number one, you should know where exactly the stone is. Is it in the kidney or in the kidney tube or in the urinary bladder? Next important point is what is the size of the stone and how many numbers? Is it a single stone or multiple stones? Coming to the size, we divide that kidney stone size arbitrarily into three categories. One is less than 5 mm, next is 5 mm to 2 cm or more than 2 cm. If it is less than 5 mm, then we can manage with the medications most of the time. If it is more than 5 mm and less than 2 cm, we can manage with minimally invasive techniques. If it is more than 2 cm, then we may have to go for more invasive keyhole surgeries and also the complication rate and hospital morbidity also will increase. Next important point is how hard is the stone? The stone is soft or hard? How do we decide hardness of the stone? For that we see the report of CT scan. In that CT scan, next to the stone details, you can see some numbers, HU numbers. That is Hounsfield unit. If the HU number is less than 1000, then we call it as a soft stone. If it is more than 1000, then we call it as a hard stone. So after knowing all these details, then we decide which modality of treatment is ideal for you, which modality of treatment will give complete stone clearance with least complication and morbidity. So when it comes to the different techniques of kidney stone management, there are multiple varieties of treatment available. Because of this advancement in the technology, the treatment of kidney stone has miniaturized and sophisticated with very minimal complications and very high stone clearance rate. So what are these techniques? Number one, ESWL, otherwise called as lithotripsy. ESWL is a technique in which we give shock waves from outside the body and will blast the stone. It is a completely non-invasive procedure, just you have to lie down on a lithotripsy table. We focus the shock waves towards the kidney stone and those shock waves will blast the stone. And the stone pieces comes out through the urine. So here you don't require any hospital admission, it is a OPD procedure. There won't be any surgical incisions involved in this and you can continue to do your day-to-day -day activities. Which is the ideal scenario for this treatment? If the stone size is less than 1 cm, when it is only one stone, hardness is less than 1000 pounds per unit and stone is not blocking the urinary system completely, leading to moderate or gross hydroerythronephrosis. In this case, ESWL works well. Next important technique is URSL or else we call it as uretroscopic removal of the stone. In this technique, we use a semi-rigid slender long endoscope along with the camera and will break the stones into multiple pieces using laser or lithoplast and then will remove the stones using basket. 
This technique is ideal when the stone is stuck in the mid or lower part of the kidney tube or ureter. For ureteric stone, this semi-rigid ureteroscopy is ideal. If the stone is in upper part of the ureter or inside the kidney, in that case it is difficult to reach the stone using semi-rigid ureteroscope. In that scenario we use flexible ureteroscopy. Flexible ureteroscope is a long ureteroscope or long endoscope. You might have seen it doing endoscopy for stomach ulcer. Similar type of tube which is very thin and which has got a camera at the tip and we pass that scope inside the urinary passage up to the kidney and then blast the stone. Major advantage of this flexible ureteroscope is we can reach any part of the urinary system, any corner of the kidney and identify the stone and we can blast the stone with laser. Biggest disadvantage is it is more expensive because of expensive endoscope and also expensive laser machine. Nowadays we are also using most advanced disposable flexible ureteroscopes. So next important or most commonly performed procedure for big stones is PCNF, percutaneous nephrolithotomy. In this procedure we, it is an invasive procedure and we make a small hole in the kidney and then will blast the stone and then remove the stones. PCNL has got its own advantages and disadvantages. Advantages are if stone burden is too high then PCNL is an ideal treatment. Previously we used to do an open surgery for bigger stones. Now that chances of open surgery has come down because of the PCNL. We can remove hardest stone through the PCNL and it has also got its own disadvantages. Major disadvantage is its complications like massive bleeding, infection, injury to the surrounding organs and hospital stay. In minimally invasive techniques, we, hospital stay is maximum 24 hours. In PCNL, you may have to stay in the hospital ranging from one day to three days. These are the most advanced treatments available for kidney stones. So these, all these techniques are available with us. We use most advanced instruments to clear the stones with least complication and least hospital stay. If you are suffering from any type of kidney stone, if you are suffering from repeated kidney stone, please visit our center. You can book an appointment through our website or with the following number. 